Eel star Junior Balor has every reason to celebrate tonight. Not only did he help guide Samoa into a World Cup final, he's also been cleared to play against Australia after avoiding a ban for a dangerous tackle. An emotional Balor describing the achievement as the greatest of his career. Arriving back in Manchester after a long journey from London, Samoa are still coming to terms with their record-breaking win, the first Pacific nation to make a World Cup final. We saw some incredible pictures of you on the field, overcome by emotion. What was that moment like? Yeah, um, well, it's probably one of the uh, most... Uh, Crazy bit of uh, emotions ever to, to go through. Um, I was happy, pardon me, was a bit relieved after how tight that game was, but I think it was more so uh, the sacrifice that we knew um, we were making when we first put our hands out to come and play for, Sa for Samoa, and that's exactly the reason why. You've done a lot in the game. Is this the highlight of your career? Yeah, it is. Um, it'll have to be. Um, you know, I've got a lot to celebrate in my career, but um, hopefully a lot more to come. But this is definitely right up there. Paolo breathing a sigh of relief today, not charged for this lifting tackle. I woke up this morning to Maddie's text and uh, said that I was cleared, so um, definitely going to get some good sleep tonight. The Kangaroos had another day off, but return to the training paddock tomorrow. Josh Adokar knows the crowd will be against them in the final, and he's embracing it. No, no, 100%. It's, uh, I used to be, like, when I was young following that, I used to be um, real nervous and all that kind of stuff, but now I just... I'm a veteran now, I think. <laughs> In Manchester, Emma Lawrence, Nine News. Jackson Hastings has reached an agreement with the Knights, which will see him head to Newcastle on a three-year deal. In return, the Tigers will receive former Origin star David Clemmer, the Knights' other new recruit, Adam Elliott, is on track to start the season despite a painful groin injury that forced him to miss the Raiders' semi-final this year. I've had to be really patient, but now that I'm in here, these guys are unreal. The medical staff here is great. They've, they've dotted all the I's, crossed all the T's um, since, since my first day here last week, and we're seeing some really good progression with the injury, so I'm sure I'll be able to start training hard again soon. The Knights begin their season against the Warriors.